on the wicket, he goes, that's six, that's a magnificent shot, all the way into the crowd, watch that white ball fly, have a look at the sixes amongst the crowd, that's gone back 20 rows. Yeah, he caught Peter Martin unprepared for that, it was a surprise, very nimble and quick on his feet. Good looking shot. Trace for thought, that's beaten him. Four runs. Yeah. It's a lovely shot through the offside. Craig White's chasing, but he won't get anywhere near it. That's beaten him to the fence by 20 metres. If you give Nathan Estill any room, anything that's short or wide or too full, he's going to be a very punishing player and take advantage of that. A lovely shot over square leg four runs too short from Goff well, Nathan Astle again has improvised here okay, the ball just might have been just a little bit short of a length but not a lot of foot movement by Nathan Astle here and really he's just flicked it that's through the offside for four Illingworth can't stop the stem of runs Aaron Goff again right arm over the wicket He's whacked that one, that could be six, it's over the top again, you beauty, lovely straight hit down the ground, Ian Smith's out of his seat, lovely shot. Well that's brilliant stuff Tony, the New Zealanders have really set this World Cup alight. It's well pitched up, you don't pitch him up to him, he smashed that one away, this is a quick outfield, Atherton won't get there, it's four. New Zealand are playing beautifully, they've settled into this World Cup and they're on their way. Well, as he's chasing this, Mike Atherton, he's probably thinking, yes, Graham Thorpe, you let me down with those two drop catches. Nathan Astle was one of them. That was his 50. And what a magnificent way to bring it up. The timing is superb. Slowish pitch. That's his third 50 in one-day international crickets. Nicely played by Astle once again. Oh, he's dived over the top of it. And that'll go out to the fence for four. the first century of the World Cup for Nathan Astle.